folks, look, I got a treat for you right now. Uh, this man is one of the greatest athletes of our time. And uh, now he owns more sports teams than I got time to list. Please welcome my friend, five-time NBA champ, my buddy, Irvin Magic Johnson. <laughs> So, man, boy, this this still your city here. <laughs> this, LA. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, I love this town and this town love me. We we've been together for almost 40 years, man. Over 40 really? years I've been here. Yeah. yeah. And but what's crazy is see, now my boy is back. Cause you know, remember we Love Steve, too, on the radio. And now he's back yeah. in L.A. doing his yeah. thing. <laughs> and we work together. We've done a lot together. Now we yacht together. And you don't like to swim and can't swim. Everybody that work on that boat know one thing. <laughs> if I'm in the water, I need all 16 of y'all in that water. <laughs> we... They already know. <laughs> Magic. You and Cookie got any date night rules? Yeah, well, the only rule we have is really for me just to be in, into her, you know? I've been with her since we were 18 years old, so... And then to say thank you for being a, not only a great wife, but my best friend and a great mother, now a great grandmother, you know, so... Hey, man, you got, you got these kids, man. All your kids out on their own now. Mm -hmm. Have they ever treated you to dinner or vacation? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, when we when they do treat me to dinner and say, Dad, we're gonna take you for your birthday or Father's Day, and then at the end they all looking at me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Hey Magic, let me let me talk to you about this, man, because I, I read somewhere that you're so determined to win that you even beat your own mother in a game of one on one. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm a winner. That's what I do. I win. So <laughs> if we go to Hey, if I play her, we go to 10, I'd let her get to nine and a half, and then I would crush her, you know? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like losing at all. <laughs> and, and then the last thing, and I'm not gonna apologize for it either, so See. I, I pick my mother up, kiss her, hug her, say, Mom, where are we going to get something to eat? See. But I won. No. <laughs> man, this is my dude, man. I could talk to you for hours, man. We got so much to talk about, man, in terms of what advice would you give a person that's really trying to get it done in life, really trying to be successful? Well, I think, you know, just looking at the two of us, you know, we had doors shut in our faces before, so you have to understand that that's gonna happen to you, but you gotta still believe in yourself and in your dream and in your goal. Then you gotta come up with a strategy to be successful and then you got to execute on that strategy. And then try to get some mentors who have been through the storm or who right. are successful so that they can tell you how to become successful. There you go. Yeah, I like that. All right, man, let's have a little bit of fun before you get out of here, All right. man. All right. It's time for my favorite, my uncensored rapid fire questions. Oh, boy. All right. Here's the first question, Matt. What have you given one of your kids that the others don't know about? I would have to say money. Uh -huh. uh huh. So please don't let me say how much because the other ones are watching right now. Oh, yeah, now, you right? know that. And now I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, know that. Know that. Yeah. Okay, on the current roster of the Los Angeles Lakers right now, right now, who is the most stylish Laker? The Lakers know how to do handle their business. They haven't quite come up to where we at yet. They can't get They can't here. do this. They can't. You know. They can't get here, Magic. Yeah, yeah, you know. Because I'm going to tell you something. Steve, you be just cutting them up on this TV. Yeah. Uh, last one. What's the best advice Muhammad Ali ever gave you? Oh, wow. The main thing he told me was this. He said, Irvin, I lost a lot of money because I had like 18, 20 guys I was carrying every single day. 
And when I looked up and retired, I didn't have money because I was paying for those guys. He said, man, don't be hanging around 18, 19 guys. Just get you one guy, that's <laughs> yeah. it, and you good. So it was a blessing. And uh, just to hear him talk and, and see him do the magic. I love, he yeah. used to love doing magic tricks. So yeah. he said, magic, your name magic, but you can't do magic tricks like me. <laughs> magic, let me ask you something. What does the word jump mean to you? For me, what jump means is the fact that, hey, I just want something better for myself. Man. And I'm gonna come up with a plan on how to achieve that goal, that dream. And it's not gonna be easy, but you gotta be willing to sacrifice everything to achieve your goal. And then God is gonna take care of you, right? <laughs> you gotta lean on your faith as well. Yeah. And that's very important. Yeah. But you gotta have a plan and you gotta execute that plan and you gotta stay disciplined. If you don't dream it, you can't become it, right? You got you got to dream, and then you got to say, okay, how can I now make this dream come become reality? What is it that I want to get into? Like me, I've done all my homework and my research, and so I was prepared and ready, but I had confidence in myself, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of times, what happens is the neighbor will come up and say, oh man, you can't do that. Man. Then you say, oh man. But for me, I, I kept wanting to prove everybody wrong because everybody said I couldn't go from the basketball court to the boardroom. And so what I did was I knocked on 20 CEOs doors. I was, see Steve, I was meeting with people, writing down everything, bruh. And then I applied it, all that information I got from these incredible smart people then I said, okay, I'm gonna put it in my own game plan and go after it. The Rose Bowl, have you yeah. ever thought about doing business there at the Rose Bowl, it's right by you in mm -hmm. Pasadena. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the Rose Bowl when there's like games, like yep. UCLA games and stuff when mm -hmm. people get out. But I've kind of researched on that, but it's like you have to be in four different places at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I feel like it scares okay. me a little bit. Okay, so this crazy. is what I'm gonna do for you on the Steve Harvey show. I control the food concession at the Rose Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, because this is my man, you on the show, I want you to come in and talk to us, <laughs> and we'll see about <laughs> getting you in a Rose Bowl and see if you can make crepes there right at the concession stand, okay? That would be amazing. All right, oh. what do you think about that, everybody? <laughs> well, you gotta thank this man here. That's what it's doing. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.